Hello everyone! Today I'm going to share with you my main secret that helps me improve my skills. For clarity, I'll be drawing and learning together with you. I must admit right away that this is not my most successful experience of using this secret technique, but well, what can I do? And today I'm gonna draw this icon. Oh, did I strike Obnoxious. a Obnoxious! <laughs> Everyone who knows Tamaki will get a plus 5 points and a sticker in their notebook. The rest I ask you to check out the base. I won't delay any further and we'll move on the video. Improving my drawing skills was aided by copying other artists. But this is not the mindless copying, it's analysis. In fact, if you've ever been to museums, you've probably seen an art student that's sitting there and copying the work of the masters. So, everything is legitimate and I didn't come up with this myself. And copying has a lot of advantages. In process of copying, we analyze the artist's work, their technique and methods which can later apply in our own works. Just please don't trace someone else's work and pass them off as your own. Tracing to study the form is acceptable and beneficial, but tracing and claiming someone else's work as your own is not cool. Let's continue. I have used this method several times and I can say that it really helps. Here is an example of my old work. Honestly, I don't remember the name of the artist, but I tried to find her. She had a beautiful and very graphic works. At that time, I fell in love with her technique and wanted to learn to draw like her. I studied her work and the technique she used for a long time and tried to replicate that. Thanks to the practice, my work started to look better and more graphic. They didn't become exact copies, well, I couldn't never replicate her technique in real life. But my own works gained graphic style and reception in lines, which I was lacking at the time. For today's experience, I decided to study the work of this incredible artist. You can find all the links below the video, make sure to check out her works, you will like them. So, at first I thought I'll try to replicate the epicness of her work, but soon I realized that I would more likely abandoned everything than finished the work. So, I decided to focus on learning her coloring technique. Here is one more thing, you can study someone's technique in coloring and building the figure or something else. You can combine everything, you can study multiply artists. And as the time goes, you probably, I mean not probably, you will find your own style and your own technique that will work and help you through your art journey. I spent some time and noticed pattern in the way of coloring. First of all, her works are usually not very contrasting, not all of them. Also, we can see a lot of color blue or green shades that often appear in the shadows, clothing and hair. Also, she makes a very delicate and minimalistic, I, I feel it's minimalistic, brush strokes. And her work looks really smooth. And we also can notice that she doesn't really use a lot of lines in her work. I mean, line art is not visible, so we have to keep this in mind. You can analyze your favorite artist's work in the same way and try to learn something from them. As I said before, you can combine different artists, you can combine different techniques and find what's work for you and what you really like. It's okay to feel frustrated in the beginning of your journey, but consistent work and consistent 
learning will help you through your art journey. But judging by my own work, it's like I forget everything I said before. Um, anyway, I still try to apply all of this technique in my own work. I don't feel it really works or working, but at least I try. I analyze someone else's work and I think someday it will pop in my head and I just use this technique that probably will give my art a benefit. The thing that I notice right now after finishing this artwork, I feel the clothes didn't really look that it should look. It should be more light and like simple, but I spent so much time working on this short and I will say drawing clothes is not my strength and I should definitely work on this. And these artists have a really beautiful way of working with the fabric. I probably will study more on her work and make a proper analysis in the future so I can apply it to my work as well. And maybe in future I'll make another video and try to apply something that really different from my own style so we can see how it's gonna work. I feel today I choose the really safe option for me because her art style not similar with mine but it's not really different. So it will be interesting to choose the artists that have a significantly different art style than I do. Anyway, in my case, my work shouldn't be an exactly copy of artist's work. It should be only serve as a source of inspiration or learning. And also I think I found my style, so it's really hard to step out the direction that I usually go when I coloring or drawing figures. So this experience is definitely was hard and I have to try it one more time, maybe with another artist, maybe with this once again. Well, I think I justified myself enough for this video. That is for now. This is what I came up with. Don't forget to leave a comment under the video and subscribe to my channel. Also, check out my other social media. I'll be happy to see you there. Don't forget to check this artist as well. She's amazing. I love her work. And now I'm off to watch a new Barbie movie. Bye!